Okay guys, so before we jump into the video, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for 900 subscribers. We just hit 900 subscribers and I cannot believe it. Like I can't, be I couldn't believe when I had 100 subscribers, much less 900. So I just want to say thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm so excited to get closer and closer to a thousand, which was just like a dream of mine when I started my channel for real, like back in January. And I really want to do a giveaway when we hit a thousand. So there will be a giveaway coming up if or when we hit a thousand subscribers. But I just wanted to say thank you because I really do appreciate all of you. And I appreciate that you saw my videos and you saw my channel and you took the time to subscribe and come along with me. So thank you. guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm doing my first update for my finished five by fall project pan if you missed the intro to this project I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards if you want to catch up but we're just gonna do a quick update on my five projects 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 and where I am so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it and I hope if you are new you would consider subscribing hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video I'm loving this look today I actually like just got home from work took everything off, just played around with the makeup, and I love how this turned out. The lipstick is Anna Nicole from Jeffree Star, very orangey red. And the eyeshadows that I'm wearing today are from the Alamar Cosmetics palette I got in my BoxyCharm a few months ago. These shades are gorgeous. I have Coco Taxi and Tropico just in my transition, and then I have El Melk, oh, I'm gonna butcher that, but the green shimmer shade all over my lid beautiful I adore this palette so the first product that I have in here is a foundation this is the peach perfect foundation I am down to here in the tube and I just like this morning had issues squirting out the foundation so I think I'll cut this open in the next week or so and actually start scooping the product out of here but I've been wearing this almost every day and I've been getting a lot of good use out of it and it's just such a good foundation for the summer it's been like disgusting hot and this one just it's bulletproof it holds up I sweat it's gross but my foundation doesn't break down. And of course I have the shade Warm Nude which is a little dark for me right now so I do lighten it with my LA Girl White Mixer. The next product I've made a good amount of progress on. This is the No Filter Pressed Powder in Light from Colourpop. I've expanded the pan on this significantly and I'm probably gonna have to repress this soon since it's basically just a ring now. Like I said in the intro this isn't like the best powder ever and especially since there wasn't a whole lot of product in it like I'm going through it really fast so I think I can I think if I repress this I could probably finish this by the next update so I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna repress it into the middle of the pan so just a little bit easier to use the next product I have is my MAC paint pot in soft ochre it's a little bit harder to see the progress on this but I have been using it daily this is what the inside looks like. I don't like the dig in one spot to hit pan because I think that's, I don't know, for me that's just not the way I like to do it. So I always swirl like in circles. So when I do hit pan, I'll hit like a lot of pan. But right now, I still have a decent amount of product. The next product is a highlighter from Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I've made a good amount of progress on this. I've hit significant pan in lightning dust right here and I'm about to hit pan in fire crystal like right there. Seeing this progress I think there's a really good chance that I could use all of this up by fall which is fantastic. I'm really excited about that. I've never used up a whole highlighter before and I really think I can hit pan and expand pan on light or on fire crystal too. Oh and I like snapped my nail off but I really like the rest of my nails this length, so I'm kind of procrastinating on cutting down the rest of them because I like them this length. Uh, poor little nail. Anyway, back to the highlighter. Okay, and the last product that I have is actually the only one I'm struggling with, and that is the Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment from Fresh. I haven't even touched this. It's the same length, 
but I honestly haven't even used it. So what I'm going to do is I like to keep all of my panning materials in like a drawer on my vanity. I'm gonna move this to my bed and I'm gonna try to wear this every night like as an actual lip treatment. So I think that's the one time a lip balm would do me really well and maybe in the morning when I first wake up like before my shower also using this. So I think um, that's gonna help me use this a lot more. So those are all my products and my update. I think I'm on a good track to finish all of these up by my deadline, which is really, really exciting. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.